want to turn now to the hunger in America. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the report says that elderly Americans living alone are experiencing a sharp increase in food insecurity. It's forcing major charitable organizations to double down on efforts to help millions of Americans struggling just to put food on the table. And joining us on this Hunger Action Day to talk about their new partnership to support senior citizens in need are Claire Babineau Fontenot, CEO of Feeding America, and Ellie Hollander, President and CEO of Meals on Wheels. Welcome to both of you. Thanks for being in studio to talk about this very, very important topic. And uh, I know your organizations are teaming up. There are some severe, serious funding challenges that you both are facing. So, Claire, let me begin with you. You say Feeding America and Meals on Wheels are experiencing a funding crisis. Tell me what you need, what you aren't getting. Yes. So, unfortunately, um, seniors often don't get the attention that they need and hunger is a real serious issue among seniors and others across the country. Um, with inflationary pressures on top of the other issues that we've seen around COVID, I think there's a perception that somehow the, the crisis has abated and people are in need. In fact, in our food banks, we're seeing in some of our uh, communities the highest rates that they've ever seen in demand. Uh, even higher than at the peak of, of COVID. So there's definitely a need. We need attention around the issue. And what I keep saying is uh, the game isn't over, so let's not leave the field. Mm, that's interesting to put it in that context, right? We, we're coming out of the pandemic, so we think maybe that some of the problems we saw in the pandemic might be fading away. That's not the case. Give us a, some more, uh, I guess, pick up on our point there. Give us a better idea of the context, just how many Americans right now are experiencing food insecurity. Well, there are 34 million Americans today that are food insecure, and 9 million of those are children, mm. and about 10 million are seniors. And so this is not abating in, in any way, shape, or form. Eight of 10 Meals on Wheels programs today are still serving significantly more meals and to more seniors than they were. Um, and I know food banks also are saying that there's a 65% increase in need. So the problem is, quite frankly, TJ, that we need more funding, we need more attention to this issue. We, we want to raise our voices and make sure that people understand that this is a significant issue in our country and it's not going away. Yeah. And, and Claire, you say, you talked about uh, the pandemic and how we're in worse shape in a sense. You say we can't go back to the pre-pandemic way of fighting hunger. What needs to change? Yes. One of the silver linings, if you will, of the pandemic was that it, this is a space where everybody seemed to understand that we really need to come together. This should be a 100% issue. So there was quite a bit of attention. There was financing. There was more food that was put into the system. But many of those efforts are actually going away but the demand isn't going away. So what we're asking is that members of Congress, members of the public, public, private, everyone, um, really, really galvanize ourselves toward these issues. We know what works. Um, we need to do what we know works. And we're gonna have a great opportunity actually coming up really soon. We have, there's the, um, the White House Conference on Hunger, Health and Nutrition is coming up just next week. What a great opportunity for all of us to come together and work on real policy changes that can have lasting, lasting implications in a positive way for seniors and for other Americans too. And of course, we know Meals on Wheels, you all are literally on the ground door to door. Can, can you give just, just quickly here for our viewers um, an idea of what it looks like? Because we talk about hunger or food insecurity, sometimes that's your neighbor living right next door to you. That's right, TJ. Oftentimes it's, it's hidden behind closed doors. Yeah. And that's one of the challenges with senior hunger is that it doesn't get the attention that it needs to because you don't see it, so you mm. think it doesn't exist. Uh, but, you know, whether it's a rural community, urban, suburban, we have people of all demographics that are really suffering, and they're proud. So they, they don't always come and ask for help. But part of the challenge that, that Claire and I have is to make sure that we focus on pushing for more funding, pushing for more volunteers, the inflation situation that we're in with food increases, gas increases, those are the things that keep our wheels rolling because we have volunteers that drive to deliver meals to people. We need to make sure that we're providing um, the resources that we need 
directly to the communities that need it. Yeah. And there's so many people out there who want to help, so just really reiterating the need and what everyone can do collectively and individually to help solve this problem. Thank you both for shining a spotlight on it and all the work that you do. Ellie Hollander, President and CEO of Meals on Wheels, and of course Claire Babineau Fontenot, CEO of Feeding America. Thank you so much again for your work and for joining us. Well, thank you so much for having us. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.